market has already priced in the Biden stimulus package. And now we're trying to see how it plays out. We had already seen a little bit of reflationary pressure coming in, kind of trying to get the economy back to the historical levels of where inflation was. And so I think what we're seeing is just a lot of managers taking the historical perspective of transitioning over to those sectors and companies that are going to benefit from the rise in yields and the other things that are going to come along with this. At the same time, though, if we're looking at GDP growth, uh, it, the way in which some people are forecasting, I, I have to imagine that's going to lead some elements of technology just to earn their way out of that uh, valuation hole. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, look, there's going to be a higher bar for these tech stocks now that there are alternatives to be able to make the types of returns that investors are looking for. That said, I am a long term bull on technology. And in fact, you know, I would say that there's so many things that have changed since the last time that we've seen this divergence between tech stocks performance and the, the historical um, stocks that one would look to in this type of economic environment. Uh, Lo, good morning. It's Deirdre. As a long-term tech bull, then, what do you make of this sort of divergence we're seeing within the sector this year? You're seeing some of the legacy names like Oracle, Cisco, even IBM actually outperform some of last year's tech darlings. Does that last? Is this a secular sort of shift or is it just a trade perhaps for this year as we look ahead to a reopening? Yeah, it, it might be. I think, look, one of the things that had happened is, you know, a lot of those historical legacy names have proven the ability to become bellwethers by changing their business models. But that lagged a little bit from some of the more darling new names. So, you know, I think we'll just have to just take a seat and just watch and observe everything. I'm, long term, again, I am a bull. But, you know, there's a lot of things that the market needs to sort out. And there's some new elements that haven't been in place for the past couple of decades. OK, so take Cisco and IBM's push into cloud, you know, <laughs> wanting to become big players in this space, but competing against the Microsofts and Amazons and Googles of the world. Do you think that this is a long term trend? Can they actually compete? Do you believe the numbers that you're seeing? We had a conversation last week with a few analysts that said there wasn't a whole lot of transparency when it came to those companies and their cloud ambitions. Yeah, absolutely. There is there is zero incentive for them to be able to open the, the kimono, so to say, and actually show the progress to date. Let's be clear. There is no alternative for them except to try and compete in these markets. They've got a long road to go, but the good news is they have the balance sheets that at least give them the ability to make those investments and try to compete. Lo, uh, there's some headlines this morning that a few more states, for example, are joining in on the Texas lawsuit against Google. I mean, we've spent the last couple of years talking about antitrust uh, risk and regulation risk. Um, in general, do you see that as a true long-term negative or is it in a way, and not to be crass about it, but is it the cost of doing some business? Yeah, I, I would really lean more towards the latter. I think that again, and I've always said this, you know, we're in an environment where the regulators tried to foster the ability for innovation to happen, which is a good thing, like taking a more laissez-faire approach. However, now that we're seeing how intertwined these tech companies have become in our personal lives and also the corporate side, you know, we obviously see the need for some additional regulation and the markets are struggling to try and understand, you know, what does that mean long term? But, you know, again, like, let's just be clear. These things will figure themselves out. Technology is too important. These companies have the most powerful business models that we've ever seen. So it will play out. It'll just take a little bit of time and the waters might be choppy until we get there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.